Malware stands for malicious software. They come in different types. Knowing them helps us understand what the malware does and how to keep protected while using the internet. First, the virus, the original digital threat. One of the oldest types, a virus is a type of malware that attaches itself to clean files and spreads to other files and systems. It causes harm or corruption to the files and the systems it infects. The key point is that viruses do not replicate on their own, they need an external action for execution, user input or some form of external intervention. Next is worm, a worm spreads from one device to another all by itself. Remember the WannaCry attack? That was a worm. One thing everyone should know about worms is that they don't need to attach themselves to a program to spread, they can independently replicate and propagate across networks, causing widespread damage without any human interaction. Then, there's the Trojan horse, the master of disguise, they often disguise themselves as legitimate and useful software, tricking users into downloading and installing them. It's crucial to know that Trojan horses are deceptive by nature, they appear harmless or beneficial to attract users into downloading them, but once installed, they can unleash harmful software. Trojans also create a backdoor on your computer that gives malicious users access to the victim's computer, allowing confidential or personal information to be compromised or damaged systems, making them one of the sneakiest types of malware. Unlike viruses and worms, Trojans do not reproduce by infecting other files, nor do they self-replicate. Meet Ransomware, the digital kidnapper, locks up all your files and asks for money to unlock them. It's been a big problem worldwide today. It's essential to understand that paying the ransom does not guarantee the recovery of encrypted files, in fact, it may encourage further attacks. Therefore, the best defense against ransomware is preventive measures, like regular data backups, updating systems, and being cautious about email links and attachments. Now, let's uncover rootkits, the silent infiltrators. Rootkits are malicious software designed to gain unauthorized root or administrative access to a computer without being detected. Once installed, they allow cyber criminals to remotely control your computer, execute files, access steal information, modify system configurations, or even disable system functionality. Some rootkits can even infect the BIOS or firmware of a computer, persisting beyond a complete system reformat and operating system reinstallation. Next, enter the realm of bots and botnets, the puppet masters. Bots are software applications that perform automated tasks over the internet. When these bots are used for malicious purposes, they become part of a network called a botnet. Botnets are networks of infected computers controlled remotely by an attacker, often used for launching coordinated attacks like distributed denial of service, sending spam, or stealing data. An important thing to know about botnets is that any internet-connected device can be infected and become part of a botnet, not just computers. This includes smartphones, IoT devices, and even smart home appliances. Then, there's spyware, the covert eavesdropper. Spyware gathers your data and forwards it to a third party without your consent. Some spyware has the ability to infect smartphones without requiring any user interaction, which is known as a zero-click attack. Once installed, spyware can access a vast amount of personal data, including text messages, emails, calls, and even activate the camera and microphone for surveillance purposes. Next is keyloggers. They secretly record every keystroke, capturing sensitive information like usernames, passwords, and credit card details. They also transmit the collected data to attackers, posing a serious privacy and security risk. Next is adware, they often come with free downloads and show you unwanted advertisements in various forms, such as pop-ups and banners. They can track browsing habits to target ads, raising privacy concerns. Removing adware can be challenging, often requiring special tools. And finally, cryptojacking. It is refers to the unauthorized use of someone else's computer to mine cryptocurrency. Hackers do this by either getting the victim to click a malicious link in an email that loads crypto mining code on the computer or by infecting a website or online advertisement with JavaScript code that auto-executes once loaded in the victim's browser. Cryptojacking is a significant threat as they not only slow down the performance of infected devices but can also lead to increased energy costs and potential hardware damage. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for future videos and updates.